Wow. That'll do, pig. That'll do. A truffle hunter who lives alone in the Oregonian wilderness must return to his past in Portland in search of his beloved for aging pig after she is kidnapped. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Burns Views, and today we are talking about the new movie by Michael Saransky, starring Nicolas Cage called Pig. If you're new to the channel though and you want videos just like this, we do early reviews all the time, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and click that notification bell. We have a lot on the way, but today we were talking about this movie called Pig, and I'll be honest, when I saw the trailer for this, I thought it was going to be John Wick only with a pig. I thought Nicolas Cage was going to be, go be going on a, on a murder spree, I thought he was going to be kicking ass and taking names trying to kill his way to find his pig, his truffle pig. But, surprisingly, this is a bait and switch that I was actually surprised to come across. The movie is broken down into three different parts. Each one has a little subtitle. As far as negatives, I would say the first part of this movie is where it suffers the most. And not in the way that it's bad, it's engaging, but as far as tone, I think it shifts too much. It kind of feels like Law & Order meets Fight Club, because you have these characters that are like the underworld of like the culinary arts and so he goes and he follows those breadcrumbs and he goes to one person who he thinks he might know where the pig is and they're like here's a piece of paper go see that person and that kind of gets a little tedious and i kind of wish that those characters along the way were a little bit more three-dimensional because otherwise what's the point it's like working your way up through a video game of villains without ever knowing much about the characters and the funny thing about this movie is that he's not going in there to kick their ass yes he is beaten up and you see it in the trailer he's all bloody so the trailer would try to imply to you that this is going to be an action movie like john wick or bangkok dangerous or something like that some some over the top Willy wonderland but it's not yes he does get his ass kicked in a scene and there is some fight club-esque moments and that's on Act 1. Act 2 and Act 3 takes a very surprising, yet happy surprise in a completely different direction that really deals with the character development of three different characters. I was kind of taken aback thinking that certain characters in this movie were going to be, you know, just like one-offs. And then there's a wrinkle and we find out more about these characters and it really pulls you into the whole story. And by the time the movie was wrapped up, I was really choked up. There was a scene that involves Nicolas Cage cooking. And the scene that follows that, it it got me choked up. It was a very emotional scene. The, the movie does a phenomenal job of laying down the seeds and then having it all come together in that second and then in that third act. And... Yeah, it, it's it's a powerhouse of a movie. It's it's something that should be an Oscar watch, I think. I, I don't think it will go to the Oscar season because at the end of the day, it's about a man trying to find a pig, and that's probably going to be the thing that's going to hold people back from actually watching this movie. But for the people that have seen this movie, I think you and I both know that this is a great movie. This is a phenomenal movie. It deals with people trying to make odds and ends of their backstories their grief, their loss, their love, their who they are as a person, how they're trying to deal with everything in their life, and how they can move forward from that. The actors are top-notch. Nicolas Cage, somewhere between Adaptation and Leaving Las Vegas is where he lands as far as a nuanced and restrained performance. There is one scene where he kicks the hell out of the side of a car when he gets angry, and you're like, that's what we came here for, right? That's, that's why we're here. That's what we paid for. But it's one scene and you're kind of like, whatever. There's also a scene where he like steals a bike and you're like, okay, this is going into crazy town. Then he kind of brings it back. But even that, it feels like it's warranted given the situation that he's in at that part of the movie. Acts 2 and 3 are where the movie really shines. So you get some real character development. Uh, Alex Wolf does a fantastic performance. And, you know, I only saw him, I think, in Hereditary and... Maybe one other flick. Um, I know I've seen him in a couple things, but nothing really stands out. And then you have um, Adam a Arkin, um, who's the son of Alan Arkin. And he's 
the antagonist, but he is very layered, and I really enjoyed what they did with this character as well. So all the actors in this movie were fantastic. I really enjoyed Pig. I, I kind of wish it had a better title, you know, because part one, two, and three have these subtitles, and they're so, like, nuanced and, and well-written, and they feel like chapters in a book. Um, like, I, I'm trying to remember what, it, like, the one chapter is called. It was, like, part three, the bottle, the bird, and the salted croissant, or something like that. I, I forget exactly, but all of them had to do with food, and you feel like you're reading a cookbook more than you're reading a... Uh, a revenge flick. I wouldn't even call this a revenge flick. I would call this a hero's journey with Nicolas Cage really bringing it. This is not a movie that would be dropped in the red box and then forgotten about in a week. And yeah, it's it's odd with the marketing because it does feel a little bait and switch. I wish it would have been presented more as a drama. But I think this is going to be a movie that people discover more and more as time goes on. I think word of mouth is what's going to make this movie move along and... It's because of that that I'm going to give this movie an A. Uh, I, the more I try to think about it, because I always try to break my movie reviews down by pros and then cons and then overall score. When I got to the cons, it was very short, and I felt like I was nitpicking. Um, the only thing I could say is that it does pull a bait and switch by trying to pull you in with a John Wick-esque type of universe. And it is a little ridiculous to think that the... The, uh, the, the high-end chefs, the, the Gordon Ramseys and the Anthony Bourdains, to think of them as an underground society of, not criminals, but just like having their own underground and trying to make that cool and sexy. And, you know, it's kind of that same thing. Like every time they mention the character's name, um, it's kind of the same thing that John Wick has. It's like, oh, John Wick. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, just take my money and come on in. And here, here are my daughters. And, you know, it's like, it's that same thing where, like, the mythology of this character that Nicolas Cage is playing is so big and he is so well known in the community. And he's a chef. He's a retired chef. And I don't want to give away more than that because I don't feel like the trailer gives away more than that. But yeah, this is a very uh, a decadent kind of movie that I very much enjoyed. It was a treat. I, th I was walking in for action. I was all like, all right, this is going to be like crazy stupidness. And I, I walked out with a lump in my throat, very happy and very satisfied, um, like you would after a very, very, very expensive a uh, tasty meal at a fancy restaurant. So with that said, I'm going to give uh, Pig an A. Um, there's very little wrong with this movie. The only thing I could really take away from it is that the first act is a little bit a, a tone shift from act two and three, which I thought was superb. I thought act two and three were phenomenal. Even act one, the first 10 minutes were good, but then they kind of shift into that weird underground uh, kind of scene, which I get it. Like it's, good for the trailer and it's fine and it's intriguing but it feels like it belongs to a different movie so anyway guys comment down below what did you think of pig are you gonna go check it out um for me it was the movie that i really wanted to see i know space jam a new legacy comes out i'll be checking that out um later in the week might do a review for it i don't know um it doesn't really pique my interest that much i thought i might go check it out but I don't know, but uh, if you are looking for something a little bit more profound, something that has a little bit more depth, if you want to see Nicolas Cage turn in the best performance in years, I would say check out Pig. So with that said, my name is John, you've been Burns here on Burns Views, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.